Well, hello there, boys and girls, and welcome to another episode of Dave Unboxes and Shows You Crap That He Bought That You Might Need. So, as you might have seen in my last video, uh, I mentioned that I've been picking up stuff to not fully redo the studio, but I'm shifting things around and making it the way that I actually want it. Uh, one of the things that I ended up picking up, or actually one of three things I ended up picking up for this desk, I'm going to switch over here is this is the key bay, keyboard tray that i've had uh, so this is a sit stand desk um i've only used it standing like a couple times but it actually works great because i can put it at whatever height that i want this is just a wood veneer that i ended up making and putting on here and i really like it so this is the keyboard tray that i've been using and it works okay i got it on amazon uh, i'm going to give this to one of my co-workers uh, if i'm completely honest because her desk uh, I have a sit stand which never goes down I only stand at work and her desk she doesn't want to sit stand and it doesn't have a keyboard tray so she ends up doing this and she's starting to have trouble with her wrist so I'm going to end up giving her this to go under her desk I have had this set up since I got this desk and it works okay there's two clamps on the side here and the keyboard tray but the problem is like the tray is stiff and the with the way I end up saying I always end up tilting the keyboard like this anyway uh, having the mouse here it's worked but it hasn't been the best for me another thing that I ended up getting was uh, actually if I switch back over I don't know if this camera oh yeah I'll kind of catch it you can kind of see so I have a, this setup this is the go XLR and then I have a Blackmagic ATEM Mini and then my Stream Deck over here. You can't really see the ATEM because of the way I have this camera angled right now. But I wanted an arm that, uh, so this section over here is a three piece, four piece modular that all the cameras and monitors are on. And that's worked great, uh, except one of my monitors doesn't have a mount on the back, blah, blah, blah. This is so far away. And I've wanted an arm that wasn't attached to that, that I could swing around and have over here, somewhere over here to be able to control the soundboard and the ATEM Mini. So what did I end up getting? Uh, one, uh, if you saw in the video, so these are my, this is my headset. Got to remember which camera I'm showing. And I have been using for a couple of years now a big ass paper clip uh, on the edge of the desk. And that's what I've hung my headphones on. So it's time to grow up. Uh, I have, actually have a headphone hanger right here. I shopped a lot of different ones and I actually got a couple of different ones that I just I didn't like. They they just didn't fit me. I even had one of the ones that you put on, but it just took up too much space and I'm about trying to conserve space here. So we're going to go over this. I also picked up a new keyboard tray and what this one does is it clips one clip uh, on the top and it spins. So instead of sliding in and out, it spins, which makes it perfect for me because I end up sitting, especially if I'm doing a live stream or something with you guys or editing, I sit at an angle. So I want the keyboard stuff at an angle. It just makes it more ergonomic and easier for me. The other thing I got, now this is a laptop mount, but it's a single arm articulated. And I'm hoping that this ends up working, putting right here, that way I can just swing up, swing out of the way, or have it handy where I can end up using it. I could raise this all up and make it easier, but the problem is this camera is at a fixed mount and I'd never be able to zoom out far enough. So what I'm gonna do is first we'll do the headset because it's small, it's gonna be quick, which by the way, as usual, um, this was purchased off Amazon. There will be links to everything down below. So all of these as usual were purchased on Amazon because that's my favorite place. There will be uh, affiliate links down below. Won't cost you anything extra if you end up purchasing it, uh, but will give me a couple extra cents and it kind of pays some of the bills and money and stuff like that uh, around here. Uh, and it's much appreciated uh, since I don't make any money from YouTube. Let's get with an unboxing and take a look at some of the stuff. All right, so here is the headphone rack. Like there's no packing in here, but, um, and this feels like it's plastic, which is perfectly fine. Uh, it doesn't need to be metal. Um, one of the things that I did like about this is it's spring loaded 
so I don't have to worry about tightening it down and everything. Uh, this does rotate around for hanging your headphones on. And technically you could mount it this way or this way. Uh, and I can run my cable through here, which is going to be kind of handy because my cable just ends up being everywhere. And with the new kitty that we have, he loves playing with cables. So I'm just going to show you right here because I can't get to pivot over to this corner where I want to mount it. Um, the grip on here is very strong, actually. Like it holds very well. You can slide it on there. And let's not get on a clip that I have underneath the desk. So once it's on a flat surface, uh, I'm shaking my whole desk and it's pretty solid. Like it's going to move. It's just friction held. And there's for that. And technically, if I want to get this completely out of the way, I will. I can't do it with the keyboard tray here. Yeah, that grip. And these are really rubbery too. Um, once I have it under there and I have the headphones on there, I can just pivot it around, get it out of my way. So keeps the front of my desk clutter free. And so I'm not snagging on stuff. So this was actually a, a good price. Uh, I don't have the prices right in front of me. Like I said, there are links down below. Um, definitely check. I reached out to the company since I got three of these things and go, Hey, I'm a YouTuber, uh, and I'm redoing my studio. Would you be interested in giving my viewers a discount? And they did reach out and said they were going to give me a, a discount code for you guys. If I've gotten that at the time of this video goes out, it will be down below as well. Um, if not, they usually have their typical like uh, five, 10 percent off um, button that Amazon ends up doing. But yeah, for the price, uh, I'm happy with this. Uh, they also have this in several different colors. I got a metallic color because it kind of matches the other metallic stuff that I have in here. Um, but I think they have it in black, white, the silver, and I think there was a pink as well. So let's get this out of the way. All right. So uh, on this, this is interesting. It's a kind of triangle shaped box, uh, rotating keyboard. This is made in China, but it has Japanese writing all over it. And same with the other packages too. So this can actually be mounted on top of your desk or underneath your desk, depending on your situation and how you end up pointing it. But again, I do like the fact that this swivels around and it does seem to be highly adjustable. I'm not going to drag you through all of the unboxing because there's tabs over here and I'm not sure how that's going to end up going uh we'll try we'll try i think we can get it I'm, i i don't want to drop it okay so there's a tray a foam pad another foam pad instructions and this looks like the arm itself. Now see, a real reviewer would have set up other cameras and been able to get actual shots and stuff like that. I'm the honest one, but I just open crap up and give you my honest opinions. Uh, we'll go over, we'll just take a look at the instructions because I haven't looked at them. Um, so you have your parts, comes with screws, Allen wrenches the arms, how to put it all together. How do you do adjustments? Oh, I didn't even know that. So besides uh, pivoting around, it actually will pivot up and this way. So that's actually kind of cool. I didn't even realize that when I bought this. So it is fully adjustable. Um, let's see where to tighten and everything. Uh, the max thickness is 2.68 inches, about two and a half inches, which I'm well within that. Uh, and then how you can mount it on top of the desk. All right. So our first foamy, um, the wrist pads, they seem to be okay. Uh, the padding that's on here is comfortable. It's not super thick. So, uh, I hate at work. We have a couple of these that like you put your wrist on and they're so hard, like they might not well not be there. It just kind of cuts off circulation to your fingers. Uh, so you get two different sizes, um, I guess, depending on which is more comfortable for you. So that works. And we'll pull the wrapping off of this. Um, it has a nice, uh, almost rubberized texture on the cover. Uh, it looks like leather, leatherette. Um, but it has a nice uh, rubber texture, nice covering on the edges. 
uh, on the side over here, it does have a tray that slides out. So I guess you could keep your, well, I'm going to keep my memory sticks and USB sticks and stuff in here. So that'll be super handy. And then in here, all right, so there's that. And I'm imagining that these were all in the baggie at one point and then they just came out. So uh, you get the screws for attaching the that. Let's get our headset thing out of the way. Let's get these out of the way. And then on this, you can choose, like if you want the tray on the right side or left side, uh, it's symmetrical either way. So it doesn't really matter. Uh, but I think I'm going to keep, uh, I'm gonna keep the USB sticks over and stuff over on this side. So laying it out, the pullout tray is gonna be on the left-hand side for me. This is going to be the front. This is the rack and I literally just want to mount it this way. So we're just going to line this up and speed through doing all these screws. All right. So with those all tightened up, these there's all plus and minus and you can either tighten or loosen um, to be able to fold and unfold it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off real quick and then I am going to pull off all my magnets that I have stuck on here. I'm going to pull this keyboard tray off and then we're going to put this one on. So we're going to try this uh, because um, my keyboard's on the floor and I realize what this is for is for lowering or raising, however you're ended up doing it, this plate. And I guess this kind of works, but using the Allen thing actually works faster. We're gonna... And... So this seems like an appropriate place. We'll, we'll try this. So this is gonna be a trial and error on your part of how you end up wanting this set up. Uh, this way kind of work. I mean, actually that's not bad if I pan back a little bit and this is going to be one of those things I may actually, depending on if I have enough cord, once I'm done with the video, I may shift this over a little bit. Um, because as much as I'm trying to keep it symmetrical, eh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that once I'm done, I'm going to shift it over, but. And I want to make sure I have to be careful because underneath I have a power strip. Underneath I have a power strip and the actual controls for the table. So if I do like this. Yeah, I have plenty of room. I have to manage. So I have to manage the wires that actually run right across here on the table. Um, but this is going to be perfect because I can just swing it out of the way. Um, that nut that I said originally was for tightening down this joint is actually for tightening up this joint that clamps on. Um, these joints on here actually have, if I pivot, you can kind of see these tighten and loosen if you need them to. But what I like is I can, if I want, if I want higher, uh, or if I want to use this for writing on, I can do that with this. And once you hit that certain um, perfect like friction hold for you, I think once this breaks in, that will be perfect. Uh, I can have this sitting on my lap. I can have it where my table, my seat actually slides underneath here. This is going to be freaking awesome. Now, one of the things, unless I get a wireless keyboard, uh, I'll have to be careful of this wire over here. But yeah, I'm going to shift this over probably to about here. Um, that will give me more space because like I said, I have a tendency of I do everything at an angle like this. This monitor is at an angle and that monitor is at an angle. Plenty of room for my mouse and we'll put on the little pad here and I'm not sure. I'm going to put the small pad up here. That'll keep me from pushing the keyboard off of the back. And these just friction fit in. They don't seem to lock in, which is fine. And then this one on the front, which you guys can't see, 
because of poor camera angle. To get this in, it's kind of a pain in the butt. You you kind of have to, these don't stay in really well. If I'm completely honest, we will have to see. I'm not one to really be using um, these pads, but these don't stay in very well. Um, the little pegs that they sit in, like if you, if you end up doing this at all, um, it wiggles it loose. I guess technically you could use some double-sided sticky tape to hold this down, but I think the problem is, is that these little pegs that are on here are rubber and the holes, it just, they wiggle out. A suggestion to the company if they end up seeing this is I would make these out of metal, um, brass, something like that, that will just slip in and friction fit and stay in. So the only downside that I found are these pads. Most people I know that have a, a keyboard tray or something like this actually have their own gel pad that they prefer anyway. Um, this back one will be fine because I'm not going to be really be touching it, but I'll keep the keyboard from. But yeah, I am super stoked on this so far. This video has been long enough and I am super sorry about that, but I wanted to show you everything that came in the box because I was excited about it. I got a headphone mount so that it's not either sitting on the floor or falling off of my giant paper clip. I got this keyboard tray, which actually works out perfect. I can adjust it up and down. I can also, if I want to raise up the table, but if I want to keep this at a certain height, I can do that. For photography, I can use this to put ca my camera on. Um, I've got a little tray on the side that I can keep my USB and memory sticks in instead of having them in in this guy that I usually have hanging on the wall. Well worth the price. Like I said, uh, I did end up reaching out to the company and asking if I could get a discount code uh, to, for my viewers. They were gracious enough, said that they would. If I end up getting that code by the time this video goes up, it will be down below. Otherwise, there will be affiliate links to this, the headphone mount, and I'm going to go ahead and include the uh, adjustable arm for that stuff. I'm going to do that in a separate video because that's going to be a nightmare in itself. Uh, I'm going to unbox that. And then I have probably about 40 wires that end up going in and out of the mixers, the audio mixer, the video mixer, all of that stuff. Uh, and getting that all set up. I'm gonna make that a completely separate video. Um, but yeah, I'm happy. I am super stoked on that. If you guys wanna see more videos like this, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Um, I've got more review stuff coming. I have a bunch of e-bike uh, stuff downstairs that I have to uh, do unboxings and reviews on as I install them. It's gonna be an awesome year. I will see you guys all in the next video as usual. Peace.